Okay. Um, so different to image classification, there's unfortunately no small scale object detection data set. So which means you cannot get a CIFAR to try and uh, on in, during the class. So what do we do here? We just show you how to make like a, a synthetic data set for object detections. So uh, we actually download the data set from web. Um, so the thing here, we use a di different data iterator, uh, which is a little bit different to the image classification iterator we have. Um, the, it uses a data set, it's a record of fire, which put all these images in, just cut all the images into a single binary. Usually make the training must the reading much faster. You don't need to read the small files. You read a large chunk of data. So then we tell them the data shape to random shuffling, to random crop, and well, the thing, here's the different thing. You do random crop, yes, but you maybe crop or something just to have, only have background. So here shows that I just, I want to random crop at least the contents of objects cover the 90, cover the one object and with 95 area of the, of the objects. If I don't have, I just throw it away and repeat it by 200 times. So this is a little bit different to how to random crop the image classification. Image classification I assume the object is so big, you always can crop, get a part of it. Then uh, we are gonna basically no data set I can skip. Um, so what you can see here, it's a batch. The data zero shape is the image. Um, batch size equal to 32. So this RBG um, channel, this is the width and height. Okay, so here, um, this is a batch size. So th this is the number of objects in the image. So here, it's, we are pretty simple. Each image only contains single objects. But it contains 10 objects. So this will be 10, okay? Then the five means, the first one is the classification ID, the last the four is just the bounding box. So comparing to image, uh, if it's just the image classification, you don't have such thing, you only, you don't, it's like 32 by one uh, labeling. But for object detection, so you have, so this is the maximum objects per images, and this is always five, okay? And the show, uh, what it looks like, uh, well, it's pretty, <laughs> what we did is that we download the 3D Pikachu uh, model <laughs> and render rotated it and grab a bunch of images, uh, nature na images and put the Pikachu there. Because we know the bounding box, we know we where we put the Pikachu, we always know the bounding box. So that is a pretty easy data set we can get. So that's why we call it synthetic data set. You see that it's pretty, uh, well, the easy way just to check the um, uh, RGB histogram, you can just uh, do object detection. You don't do fancy things because we know this is pretty yellow and we do a lot of image patch and uh, compute the histogram. But, but we just use this one to show how to try and uh, object detections. But yes, you can do more fancy things. So you can use a GAN actually to generate images more close to a real ones. Okay. Um,